everyone, it's Anthony back with another video here on Single and Placing. Hi, hello. <laughs> I hope everyone's having a fantastic day, week, weekend, whatever it is that you've got going on. Um, we are here with a uh, finish and kind of like a little post review, I suppose. Um, I am sick, so <laughs> keep that in mind. Um, I came down with something yesterday afternoon and last night was really, really rough. And then today it got a little bit better. I lost the headache part of it, but I'm still very stuffy and um, just a little bit sore. Um, so I took a personal day from work, um, which is awesome being two weeks into your new job and having to take a day off. But um, it's, I have not been sick in a long time, knock on, knock on wood, but um, it just hit me pretty hard. But it gave me a lot of time to uh, sit and work on Yellow Frida from Distracted by Diamonds, and lo and behold, I was able to finish her. Um, so this is actually a gift for my aunt. Um, it's kind of an early Christmas gift. I'm going to give it to her as soon as I see her next time. Um, so I'm not going to hold off till Christmas. I don't want to hang on to it too long, and I know she wants to get it framed and all that stuff. Um, she actually picked the image out. So um, this is a... 62 by 88 centimeter round drill canvas with 54 colors. Um, it didn't have any special drills as is, but we'll talk a little bit about what I did here. And once again, this is from Distracted by Diamonds. I started this canvas on August 18th, so this took me about 13 days to complete. Um, a lot faster than a kit of this size normally would, but like I said, um, I've had quite a bit of time. I had some time um, in between jobs um, because I started this new job and um, I had today off because I was sick. So I literally was just powering through this entire kit today. So, um, but yeah, um, as far as um, working it up, just like any other Distracted by Diamonds piece, this is my third one that I've completed. I am so sorry. Um, so rendering, you know, just like any other Distracted by Diamonds piece, rendering was absolutely fantastic. The color palette here is gorgeous. Um, this, I will say, um, as far as positives, <laughs> one big positive, this is the most fun I've had working on a diamond painting. This has been my favorite one to work on thus far. The colors kept me super engaged and interested. The patterns here just created a lot of intrigue and interest too. Every time I peeled back a section, I was like, what's coming next? What's coming next? And it was just so much fun to work on. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous image that I would 100% do again. It was a whole bunch of fun. Um, yeah, even at this size, even at this larger size, it was a blast to work on. Um, so yeah, as far as um, I'm going to go over that. So we covered what I really liked. The things that were a little bit, I'm kind of like, eh, about, I'm going to talk about those. And then I want to talk about what enhancements I made. So a couple of things that were kind of meh are the drill quality for some of the colors was just not quite hot, um, especially the 310. And I know 310 is notorious for having some trashy bits, but there were some pretty big varieties of um round sizes so I'd have tiny little ones and then some that were bigger and some that were in between they were just a little all over the place with the sizing so I did have to pick out a little bit more trash than I typically am used to um, and then the same goes for some of our lighter colors like some of these um, lighter grays here and like more smoky blues they had some inconsistent drills as well as far as uh, sizing and I found that I had to change the wax out of my multi-placer quite frequently because so many little bits and bobs would get jammed into it and it would just make it hard to pick up drills. And then also there's little tiny bits that, you know, would kind of escape. So here's one here. Um, they would just kind of escape out of the tray as I was shaking through and land on the canvas. So I had to spend a good five, 10 minutes or so, and I'm still checking for them to, to find those little pieces of, um, of drill that kind of get caught between the rounds. So that's something to keep in mind. The other thing that um, is kind of meh for me is the um, the shading. Even though I think the rendering is fine, um, the just the kind of the color choices, I suppose, um, for, the, for the lighter colors of her face are a little bit off, at least from up close. I'm looking at, looking at it in the camera and it's a little bit more um, blended and blurred when you're looking at it from afar or on camera. But up close, 
there's a, there, it just looks a little splotchy on her face. Um, so I would have almost preferred this to be one solid color or for them to do one more kind of halo of another color than the lighter in the center, similar to the original artwork. But this kind of patchwork kind of blotchiness with a few different shades of that tan and pink, I'm not the hugest fan of. And, it, and not so much an issue on the forehead because it's a little bit more confetti, but here it just looks a little blotchy. From far away, not that big of a deal. It just almost looks like her face is a little dirty or her makeup's doing something weird. Um, but other than that, no issues there. So that's kind of the pros and cons. Like I said, one of my favorite, most favorite canvases that I've ever worked on. I would absolutely recommend anyone taking a peek at this canvas and snagging it off of Distracted by Diamonds if it is an image that interests you. Um, mostly positives, just those couple things. If I was to do it again, I might even um, kind of rechart this myself and purchase more of maybe this ivory or pick, you know, one of these tones and go with that rather than um, having this big mix. I'm just kind of straightening these out just a little bit with my fingers. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So um, as far as what I did to enhance this, um, uh, maybe I'll turn the canvas so you can kind of see, and we'll just kind of go down the line. There we go. Okay. So, whoopsies. So starting up top in her butterfly, I replaced, um, and you'll see these more further down, I utilized some uh, deeper gold drills from Diamond Dots, those metallics. You see those in the butterfly. So this canvas did not come with any special drills, no ABs, nothing. So did those there. And then here on her lips, I went ahead and added some crystals from a budget canvas that I was sent as a giveaway. Um, I had extras, so I threw those red, red crystals in there. And then I also used some red ABs from Diamond Dots as well. And then um, here in her skull earring, there's just a couple of those metallic gold drills. And then in her dress, I used two different shades. So there's that same deeper gold from up above. And then here in the center, let's see, sorry. Here in the center here is a lighter, more silver metallic. And then in the little bug on her dress, I included just a few black ABs. And that's it. So um, just touched up some stuff, to be honest. Um, none of that was intentional. <laughs> um, I, the only, the deeper gold, that was the only color that I had originally selected to incorporate into this canvas. Um, everything else as I was working on the kit, like when I got to these, this original color is like a really bright kind of lemon yellow. And I thought it kind of took away from the gold and more like richer hues of this canvas. This was like almost kind of like a, like I said, like a bright lemon yellow or like a cool tone yellow. And it just kind of was a little off from the rest of the canvas. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and glitz this up with um, some more metallic and see how that turns out. And I really like how it turned out. I'm like being, I don't want to rub my fingers across it too much. There's a drill. Um, um, let's see, what else? And then the same with the lips, I got to the lips and I was like, oh, let's just do something fun here. So I just kind of rummaged through my um, my collection of extra drills and I, I just kind of did some stuff there. And then the same when I got to the bug, I was like, mm, I have some black IBs, let's go ahead and do something fun there. So it was all just kind of in the moment. Um, but I might seal this. I have been noticing, at least when I run my hands across it, and it could just be the, a matter of me, my placement not being ideal, but I have popped a couple drills just kind of checking for stuff. Um, so I don't think this canvas is, you know, victim to popping drills. I think I just, you know what I could do and I haven't done it um, since I finished it is just give it a good roll and I think it'd be fine. It's, it's more common against the metallic drills versus the regular ones because these are a little bit more raised and higher than the regular drills from Distracted by Diamonds. So sometimes if you're placing near those they can kind of lean up against each other you just have to be a little bit careful so that's it um i think it turned out great i'd love to hear your feedback on you know your thoughts on this artwork style this particular canvas this color palette but i was absolutely in love with it i love how the patterns of these like flowers or petals or whatever they are in the background how they came out so vividly like 
it looks so close to the original artwork. I was especially curious to see if these little squares would churn out, and they totally did. It's just, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I know she's going to love it. Um, it. I think it's going to be shocking to her. I don't think she thought, A, it was this big, and B, that it was going to be this vivid. So I'm looking forward to sharing this with her. Um, but like I said, let me know if you have any questions, comments. Otherwise, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share this content with friends, family members, anyone that you think might take value from it. Otherwise, um, thank you so much for watching or thanks again and um, happy placing. We'll see you next time. Bye.